This looks like a touchy mission. Grunton is coordinating with local intelligence. Mossad? Even better. Shen Bet. Spooky. Who are we torturing? Just you. First thing you're going to need is to retrieve your SC-20K. Wouldn't it make more sense just to give it to me? We have the barrel altered to reduce sonic placement. Only one man with those skills in the area. An old arms dealer slash CIA plant working out of the back of a small shop. He'll be waiting for you. Details on your ops side. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow walkthrough. This is mission number four, Jerusalem. So up ahead here, you just want to wait on this guard. He's going to pass you. And uh, you have to wait for both of them to go back to their patterns in terms of that guard's going to go back heading that way you just came and this guy's going to come back and uh, do the same thing. Uh, this mission is not one of those missions that you could do a quick stealthy manner. This is not Blacklist. So anybody that's coming from the Splinter Cell Blacklist game, uh, you really going to have to change up how you actually do the stealth in this game. This is not based off of points. This is not based off of how fast you are. This is classic Splinter Cell at its best with taking your time and learning the characters, learning the AI, learning their movements. Uh, this game is very much based off of trial and error. This is not a game that you can just Say, okay, I'm going to get through this mission in 10 minutes and get the best time. This is not that. This has no leaderboards. This is complete stealth. This is uh, just like in Splinter Cell 1, the CIA headquarters where we had to go retrieve our SC-20K. It's the same thing here. We have to re go retrieve our SC-20K. Wait on this guard. Don't move up too far ahead or he will actually bump into you and uh, you'll cause an alert. As this mission is only one alert the whole time as you can see on the HUD right there next to the envelope and uh, in this game you can get killed very very quickly based off of whether or not you're fast enough and this is played on the hard difficulty but I don't think it really matters because if you're on the easy difficulty or normal which is this game's easy you'll basically be uh, killed within five shots so like I said if you're coming from blacklist you gotta change up your gameplay and mindset and really get into that mindset of being stealthy. Okay, I'm going fine. I said now. So where we're heading to right now is we're basically heading to the guy that's going to give us our SC20K, and uh, we have to knock out two guys. They are mandatory no matter what. This guard's going to turn. When he does that, you can get up against this box and just start using your SWAT turn. Even if an enemy's in front of you, you can actually pass them. Now what I decided to do here was wait, because even though I could probably go ahead right now, the guard's going to be coming up on the right side here, and um, there's light where we're heading so he can see us, and there's a little bit of light right in front of us, so it's best to just wait on him to do his thing and uh, let him pass. So up ahead is the two guys that we have to take out. You can either kill them or you can knock them out or knock them out with the bottle I decided to go ahead and just, we just want the knock them the out we'll take your life. We have no choice we need to have them dead and no you don't need to have them dead you just have to knock them out if you want to kill them and you're going for a kill playthrough that's a different thing but this is not a kill playthrough so you will not see that in this walkthrough you're Saul Berkowitz. Oh, thank God you showed up when you did. You are Mr. Brunton's man, no? Who were they? Thieves. They shouldn't have been able to get this close to me. There must be something wrong with my security arrangements. You've got something for me. Yes. Only a small thanks compared to what I owe you. Now you can talk to him and he would take you to another location where you can get an extra sticky shocker. But there's really no need. Uh, he actually heads to the right and where we're going we don't want to head that way so. Good. 
Feeling better with a warm gun in your hand? Much thanks. Your next objective is named Dahlia Tal. Brunton? Ms. Dahlia Tal. She's a Shin Bet agent in deep cover with local terrorist cells. She's our link to Norman Soth's terrorist connections. One of the choice nuggets of intel we pulled off Soth's laptop. Find Dahlia. She'll lead you to the mercenaries. Hey, please. Can you tell me when the curfew ends? No idea. We had an incident in the Christian area this morning. Was it serious? Pretty serious, but less than the one last week. Now be quiet. God, this city is becoming more and more dangerous. So just wait on this guard up ahead here. He's going to pass you, and uh, you can go on by. Uh, it's not too hard, it's just a lot of waiting. Like I said, if you're coming from that Splinter Cell Blacklist mentality, you have to really change it up because uh, it's not going to help you in the first two or three games. Uh, these games were made for trial and error type of a deal. It's not made for score. There was no score when it came to Splinter Cell in the first four games of the series. It just, there just was not. So, wait on that. Uh, civilian. Now, I don't know if they can raise an alert or not, but I would just wait on them. There's no need to actually uh, let them see you in any way. The curfew is not respected enough. We should be more severe. People are tired and bored to stay home. If they prefer to risk their life, this will never change. I don't like what happened in the grocery store. This is almost total anarchy now. They will never respect any of the Peace Road map anyway. Yes, I will keep on being busy. Speak for yourself. Who did it? Nobody claimed it. But you don't have to think twice to know. Will there be any reaction? I guess so. As usual. Another terrorist attack and the city will blow up. You know, we've been saying that for so long. Nothing changes. Only the number of dead in the list changes. It keeps growing. Okay, so up ahead here you have two choices. You can either take that pipe up ahead and go the top route. Or you can actually just go the bottom route, which is what I'm doing here. If you want, feel like you can do a quick save, it's up to you. Um, there's a guy that's going to pop out no matter what way you go. So if you're going the top route, he'll pop out. If you're going the bottom route, he'll pop out. And he's actually right there. Now, the top route, you have to be a little bit more patient. You're not going to be able to just go. Uh, he will see you and it will cause an alert and all that stuff. So what I decided to do was just stick on the bottom here. And uh, you should be able to get by him. Okay, so at this point you just keep on going and uh, you'll pretty much get to your objective. Basically what we're doing is we're basically going to meet up with our contact. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that right there. Somebody's going to see you a little bit. But uh, you're just going to have to keep moving and uh, stick to the shadows. Uh, one thing about blacklist is that you don't have to stick to the shadows well in this game in the first four games you have to stick to the shadows so you're gonna have a couple guards here what you're gonna do is stick on the right and then quickly move over to the left up ahead as uh, they will be actually one of them will come back around and he'll move to the left so you just want to get up here to this wall up ahead here and uh, I use the night vision just so you guys could see a little bit you don't want to move head forward just yet because uh, they can catch you and stuff. So as you see, that guy came right back. And when he passes, you can move up ahead. And uh, if you've made it this far, you're pretty much almost done. But don't ruin it. Just keep moving at the pace you're moving. And uh, when you climb this pipe, sometimes this guard here will hear you. Sometimes he won't. This game has a lot of hit and miss uh, options where technically they shouldn't be able to hear you, but they can. There's not much you can do about it. Just kind of keep moving forward. As long as you don't raise an alarm, uh, you should be fine. And none of those guards should see you up ahead here as you're just above a little bit. Um, I've never been caught going up this way. So you shouldn't be caught neither. The lighting is really good up here. Sometimes the lighting in this game can be too good. And uh, it can actually be really dark to see. And I do apologize for some of those sections where I don't use the night vision. But... Sometimes the night vision is just too good as well because you can't see the spots that you can hi have to hide in the shadows. So up ahead we're going to meet with our contact and I'll see you guys on the next section. 
I have a clear identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. The code is, is there a special hour for the mass? Answer, only in the morning. Is there a special hour for the mass? Only in the morning. You took a long time. You're American. Who are you? I'm friendly and looking for a friend of mine. You've seen this man. I feel you wouldn't be asking unless I had. What was he doing in Jerusalem? Buying a weapon. Details, details. I don't know any. Something biological. The Syrians have supposedly had it for over a decade. But it was too dangerous to move until your friend came along with some kind of storage devices. What was the deal? Your friend got the biological agent. He gave the Syrians a small mountain of U.S. currency and one of the storage devices. Where are the Syrians? Where's the device? I'll take you to the device, but stay out of sight. Anybody sees us together, and we'll be far from the only people killed. Alright, welcome back guys. This is the second section here and up ahead you have to shoot this light out. Now from my understanding, if you're on the PC, apparently that light is not there. Uh, sometimes in this, these games you just have to do distractions that you don't want to do. But, you know, it's Splinter Cell and this is not a complete ghost walkthrough and even, like I said, even if you do doing that complete ghost thing, you have to still do distractions. Sometimes there's just no other way around it. Uh, that light has to be shot out or you will be caught and you will pretty much raise an alarm as you only have one alert on this uh, section as well up until we get to the final section. So she's going to talk to this guard up ahead. There's going to be a civilian behind us and uh, sometimes they'll come this way, sometimes they'll turn back around. They'll do different things but uh, just wait, don't move anywhere and uh, just when he comes that way, just move over to the left side, and you should be fine. Now you can move forward. So this section here is basically just a follow the leader type of a deal. You just have to follow her to the warehouse and uh, complete our objective. So that's all you're doing. I mean, it's very simple, uh, but I will say that unlike Chaos Theory, where they actually implemented a sound meter, so you know how much sound you're making, uh, the first two Splinter Cell games, and this one especially, does not have that. So you kind of have to move and just hope that they don't hear you. So we have some people up ahead, they are praying, and all you have to do is time your movements and use the SWAT turn very useful it's only useful in Pandora tomorrow I don't believe it's in chaos theory I could be wrong it might be but I don't think it is um, I believe it was just something that was just used for Pandora tomorrow and if you're playing this on the PS3 version you can actually have quick saves however this is the Xbox version and the Xbox version does not have any quick saves it just has checkpoints so if you haven't gotten a section down a certain way to where you feel you can move through it comfortably and not raise an alert uh, use your checkpoint saves as they do help you out so you can go back through and get that section done uh, we're just gonna keep moving up here stick on this guy's left side and he will turn and head back the direction he came once he's past you you can go ahead and move up and the same thing with this guy up ahead you're going to stick on his right side and uh, he will pass you and you can move up what are you doing outside we're well past curfew. I'm so sorry. I just had to take care of my sick father. He was wounded in... 
Of course, but we can't make exceptions. I'll have to insist you return to your house immediately. Of course, officer. I'll be right on my way. I'll escort you. Excuse me? These streets aren't safe, curfew or no. I'll walk you home to make sure you arrive quickly and safely. That's not necessary. I don't mind at all. Here, let's go. That really won't be necessary. So what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting on this guard. He's going to turn this way and then he'll turn back around. You don't want to move up just yet as there's light. And he possibly could see you. So once he's heading back the opposite direction, you can go ahead and move up. Now what's funny is she knocked this guy out. And uh, he would probably call for backup if this was like a real life situation here. But uh, even though we didn't knock him out, I still feel that you need to hide the body. Uh, just in case, because I don't know if the game will count that against you. Nicely done. Does this change our plan? No. The biological sample will only be at the Shoshana warehouse for another few hours. We can't afford to let it get away. We just need to be more subtle. If I see you between here and the warehouse, I'll have to call off my part of the assignment. Right. Is there a way I could get up on the roofs? Yeah. That works. Over there, you should be able to get up. I'll meet with the warehouse. Okay, so she's moving up ahead here. You do not want to move as is a guard right now. When he is uh, past you, then you can move up. And if you haven't had a chance yet, you can save another checkpoint. I decided not to. Uh, you go that way to get up on the roofs, but we're going to take the left route here. And uh, we are going to follow her, kind of, in a way like we've been doing throughout the entire part of this whole mission and uh, what I decided to do is basically shoot out these lights reason being is you can get through without um, them spotting you and you don't have to take the top route if you don't want to so many people on YouTube take the top route and for this playthrough I want it to be a little different uh, if I was going for that full ghost walkthrough I probably wouldn't even bother doing this but it's okay because this walkthrough includes knockouts as well. So wait on this guard to pass you. I know it's very hard to see. This guard up ahead, right, straight ahead, he does not move. You want to shoot this light out and then eventually he will move. What it does is it creates enough uh, shadows, enough darkness for you to move up ahead. Uh, that way they're not looking in your direction and you can basically scoot on by. Now she will have a conversation with that guy, but if you do what I do, you could just take the lights out and you can see this whole alleyway is basically dark up to this one point right here where there's some light being created. Now there's a guard, he's going to come out on that side straight ahead. She will talk to him, but if you do what I did, she will not talk to him. He'll be distracted about what's going on. And, uh, at first I thought, well, I kind of screwed myself here because he actually turns around very quickly. You don't have enough time to get up uh, beside him. And he just looks straight ahead. Like, he does not move from this position whatsoever. Uh, so I was trying to debate on what I wanted to do to take this guy out. Should I take him out? Should I not take him out? But the final section, we need our gadgets up ahead. Um, as there's seven people that we're going to be taking out up ahead. Six or seven people. And uh, you're basically going to end up using all your gadgets. So I was looking here and there's only two sticky shockers and two air force rounds. Well, you can't shoot your weapon because the guy will hear it and it'll cause an alert. And since we're almost done with this entire section up ahead, I don't want to cause an alert. Luckily, there is a can that is placed back here you can pick that up and throw it uh, if you throw it in the direction that I throw it you should be good to go now he's gonna look around and you would think okay I can move up well you can't move up he turns straight around like that fast he's gonna look ahead at the can for a second which is right in front of him and he's just gonna walk right on by you so once he's past you give it a little bit and you can move up ahead open this door and then hurry up and get into the shadows before that guy turns around and comes back now in this room up ahead you can pick up a couple of air four rounds and a few sticky shockers 
that uh, will help you with the section up ahead, which is the final section. And I will let this conversation play out, and I will see you guys on the final section so I can explain what we're going to be doing up ahead. Who do the Syrians think you are? A double agent. They think I'm betraying Mossad. Why are you being so helpful? Our governments are allies. Our enemies are yours. You ready? We're stirring up a nest of vipers here. You want to come inside? Not on your life. Fisher, we need Dahlia Tal dead. Kill her. Don't think, just do it. Damn it, Fisher. We needed her dead. Why? Shin Bet's not playing a straight game. It's not your job to question. I'm going to need a little more warning to shoot unarmed women. Are we aborting the mission? No, we can't. But you just dug yourself a deep pit to climb out of. Sign off, Brunton. We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth freedom situation. All means are acceptable. What's up guys, welcome back to the final section. Uh, you take out the first two guards with the air four round, use a whistle, this guard's gonna come up here, and uh, you're gonna take him out with the final air four round, and uh, hide his body. So basically we're taking out a lot of the people we come across, um, which will help us get and complete our objective. So knock him out. I mean, he's basically in the dark, but uh, I'm gonna hide his body to make sure that nobody actually finds him and uh, we're gonna move up, move up ahead and we're gonna use our sticky shockers now there's a room up ahead that you can use all of your gadgets and you can get them back basically but it's guarded by two guards on the inside and one guard on the outside so take this guy out and then take this guy out with the other sticky shocker and then shoot the light out up at the top here uh, when we get this final guard's uh, attention heading straight toward us. Um, he's going to notice that one of the guys is uh, knocked out and stuff like that when he gets here. And uh, you're just going to use the final sticky shocker on him. And then to make sure that they do not get found, we're just going to shoot this light at the top out. And then you're pretty much free to move up from this point on. Going through this section, heading to your left right there, is the room that you can get all your gadgets back. Every single one that you just used up right now, you can get them back. But I did not opt for that, so we're going to move up ahead. So this guard right there, he's going to head straight back out to the hallway. He has a pattern, and this guy's pattern is just straight back and forth. It doesn't change. Once they're past you, you can go ahead and move up and grab the objective that we need to get. Uh, and you'll pretty much have this completed at this point. So. some bad intercepts, Fisher. You ever read the Chamberlain chapter of your history books? No need to act cute. Dahlia Tal is close and no doubt eager to repay your mercy. Shinbet wants the ND-133 and knows there's no official repercussions for killing somebody who doesn't officially exist. She's got sniper stats that could disprove Kennedy conspiracies, needless to say. Yeah, you said jump and I didn't. When I get back to the States, I'll sit facing the corner in a cone hat. Alright, so up ahead you're going to knock this guy out, shoot out this light, 
and uh, as you can see I have three sticky shockers that is because I took out some guys off screen and um, we're able to move forward up ahead so we're good to go but other than that um, you're gonna hear a guard say that's not good sometimes they move forward sometimes he won't if you want you can use a sticky shocker on him but we're gonna need him up ahead for the final section so I just decided to use the whistle and lure him over this way and uh, we're gonna knock him out and then we can move forward and those two guards at the end do not move so you don't have to worry about them seeing anything or finding the bodies or whatnot Okay, so this final section up ahead here, I would shoot out every single one of these lights. Um, reason being is because there's three snipers that you have to deal with, and the lady that we were following throughout this entire mission, she is one of the snipers that's on top, and she will try to basically kill you. However, she's not facing in your direction, she's facing the opposite direction. So get your sticky uh, shockers ready, and if you look up ahead, there's a guy with night vision straight ahead there's another guy there we're not going to worry about him she's facing the window for some reason but this guy up ahead we're going to take him out if you aim at the precise uh where i'm aiming at precisely you can take him out and then make a run for it uh that is the only way i've been able to find a way to get around this section is by taking that guy out and as you can see you do not take any damage and you have just completed the mission you and Cohen can get out of there. Mission's complete. You think that small box is the real thing? I hope to God not. There's certainly been suggestions in Syrian intelligence that they've been developing agents. All we can do is let Bellagio do his job and hope. You think smallpox is the Springfield demonstration? I don't want to guess. Meet Cohen and get out of there. Your soft spot for Dahlia has cost us more in the region than you can imagine. The area's clear. Alright guys, that completes this mission, and I will see you guys on the fifth mission.